Okay, so let's solve an example. The question is asking us to determine the impedance seen at the emitter of Q2. So this Rx that we have here, if the two transistors are identical, so it means that like beta 1 and beta 2 are the same, and the early effect doesn't exist, or early voltage is infinity. Okay, so instead of actually, uh, by the way, when I say Rx looking into the emitter of Q2, it means that if I draw a circle around or yeah, something like this, if I draw a circle around this entire circuit, and if I want to replace the whole thing, I'm going to keep the terminal and replace the whole thing with one resistor to ground. I'm going to call that resistor Rx, and I'm looking for the expression that uh, basically represents Rx. Okay, so that's the question. What is Rx? If I want to replace whatever I see from here up with just one resistor. Uh, from the terminal down, it could be like, let's say, it could be just a simple voltage source, or it could be the rest of the circuit, some other circuit, right? Like if there was a V in here, then this would have been, uh, this Rx would have been your Rn, the input resistance, right? So what would be the input resistance? Well, we're going to figure it out, okay? Let me erase these stuff, and let's get started. Now, instead of actually drawing this small signal model and a small signal circuit and writing KVLs and KCLs, I'm going to use the approach that I learned last week, which was trying to reduce or to simplify the circuit in hand to something that I know its answer, right? So like not actually writing everything or solving everything from scratch. So if I want to say what is Rx, I know that looking into the emitter of a, of a transistor, of a bipolar transistor, I'm going to see 1 over Gm, and then whatever resistance in the base, so Rb2, I'm going to call that uh, the, the resistance in the base of Q2. So all resistors or equivalent, so equivalent resistor at the base of Q2, okay? I'm going to call that Rb2. That divided by beta plus 1, right? So that's what I learned. So if I had some resistor in the emitter, um, like Re, it would have been Re plus these two terms, but I don't have that. So based on what I know, this is going to be 1 over Gm2, because we're talking about this uh, Q2, this transistor, plus Rb2 divided by beta plus 1. Good. Now, what is Rb2? Rb2 is basically whatever resistance that I see at the base, which is kind of like this Req, right? So this is the equivalent resistor that I see at the base. What is it? Well, it's the resistance that I see into the emitter of Q1. So I can actually write this as Rb2 is equal to that Req as shown on the circuit, and it's equal to 1 over Gm1 plus Rb divided by beta plus 1. And by Rb, I mean this guy, right? Now I can write the whole thing. So it's going to be Rx is equal to 1 over Gm2 plus 1 over Gm1 plus Rb over beta plus 1. So this is going to be the resistance that I see. It's a very complicated kind of an expression, and you can imagine that if you actually had to write KCL, draw the small signal and write the KCLs and KVLs, it would have taken it like, I don't know, half a day to actually get to this expression, and you might have actually made a lot of mistakes on the way, right? So this is the reason that I always encourage you guys to solve electronic questions in an electronic way, not in an electrical circuit way, right? So what we learned in 2200 was the basis of how to analyze any electrical circuit. So KCL, KVL, Tevin, and Norton, and all those kind of stuff. But then in 2210, in like, when we're dealing with electronic circuits, especially the ones that uh, has an amplifier, has a transistor in them, because we are always dealing with the same component. We're always dealing with the same transistor. It's always good to learn some stuff and remember those stuff, such as like the resistance seen into the emitter or to the collector or to the base of that transistor, and then use those information the way that I did here uh, 
to actually avoid uh, very long solutions. You could really write uh, the expression for the resistance in, in three lines. And if you, with experience, you know, you don't even need these two, these first two lines. You're just going to say Rx is equal to one over GM. And then whatever I have here, divide by beta plus one. And that, that is really whatever you have. The, the numerator uh, of this fraction is going to be the what the REQ that you see there, right? So with a little bit of experience, you're going to be writing this uh, this entire expression, the third line here, directly without actually even thinking.